Hello and welcome back to the MCF Participant Education Series. 2023 is off and running and it's hard to believe it's almost spring already. We are nearing the end of the first quarter and our topic is retirement goal setting and specifically savings goals. To help you get there, we'll explore basic ways to identify savings opportunities as well as simple money management tips. My name is Hunter Nybert and I'm a financial advisor and retirement planning specialist with MCF Advisors. We are your 401k consultant and are here to help you reach your retirement goals. Motivational speaker Brian Tracy said that a goal without a plan is only a dream. The dictionary defines a plan as a detailed proposal for doing or achieving something, or an intention or decision about what one is going to do. Most plans come with developing steps. For retirement, step one is identifying your goal. How much money do you need to live the way you want to? Estimate your future retirement expenses to determine your income need. Make sure to factor in additional health care costs that you may incur over the long term. Other factors to consider when estimating your income need are taxation and inflation. Inflation will rise over time and will erode your spending power. This will also be a factor in your investment strategy as well. Once you know your retirement spending need, identify your possible income sources. Include Social Security, pensions, and personal savings. To fill the gap between these sources, you will need to rely on your retirement savings from your qualified accounts like your 401ks, 403bs, and IRAs. While needs vary, typically we recommend that individuals aim to replace 80% of their pre-retirement income in and through retirement from all the sources available to you. Typically, 50% of this 80% comes from your employer-sponsored plans like the one you participate in. Here are some easy ways to save. Number one, participate in your company's retirement plan. Starting early is one of the best things you can do to ensure that you have set enough aside for retirement. Number two, take advantage of any matching contributions. This is real money. Do not leave money on the table. Number three, gradually increase your contributions. Increase the amount you defer periodically. If you increase your contributions to coincide with your annual raise, you probably won't even notice a change. Lastly, stay with it. Don't fluctuate your contributions and understand that this is a marathon. Discipline and consistency are keys to your success in the future. To maximize your potential of hitting uh, your 80% replacement income goal, our suggested total savings rate is 12% or higher from the youngest age possible. And that's a total of your deferral and the employer contribution as well. Your employer may offer Roth contributions in addition to the traditional pre-tax contributions. Pre-tax contributions are tax deductible and the earnings are tax deferred, meaning you pay tax later as you withdraw your money based on what effective tax rate you pay based on your income in any given year. Roth contributions are funded with after-tax dollars and the earnings and withdrawals are tax-free when you withdraw them in retirement. Depending on your horizon and current effective tax rate, in my experience, many people who choose the same deferral percentage in Roth contributions will enjoy a higher replacement income compared to that of pre-tax deferrals. In this hypothetical example, a 45-year-old who contributes $5,000 in a Roth with the same 7% return would have nearly $11,000 more, assuming a 28% marginal tax rate in the year of the withdrawal. Now that you have a goal in mind, what can you do to find more savings opportunities? If you aren't sure where your discretionary income is going, the simplest place to start is to track what you earn versus what you actually spend over one to three months. Do you see any trends? What are simple expenses that you can go without or lower? Maybe it's as simple as just minimizing eating out by one or two times per week. After you better understand your inflows and outflows, then formulate a budget. A budget is a plan for what you intend to spend in the future. If you create a budget, it is important to compare what you plan to spend versus what you actually spend on a regular basis. A budget can help you prioritize reducing your debt as a goal as well as create additional savings potential in the future. You choose what your priority is in increasing your savings or paying down debt. Both are extremely important and beneficial when planning for retirement. In order to be better prepared for retirement, envision your lifestyle in retirement. Then identify your income sources and your spending needs. 
Track your inflows and your outflows to help identify additional savings opportunities to reach your goal. Above all, remain disciplined in your savings approach. As always, we are here to serve and help promote a positive outcome for your retirement plan. Feel free to add the link below to your URL or scan the QR code to schedule a virtual one-on-one -on -one meeting to discuss your current situation and financial goals. Thank you for watching this video, and if you find the information useful, I would encourage you to share this with your coworkers, uh, friends, and family. Until next time, take care, everyone.